Hi, I'm Maddie Walters. And I'm Maddie Wright, and we are here today to present a Tolax talk about crane safety. To start off, how many people do you think are killed yearly involving crane accidents? 3, 15, 200, or 42? Yes, it's 42. On average, 42 people a year are killed in crane accidents on construction sites. In many cases, in one crane accident, there are usually multiple fatalities. So the top four construction fatalities are falls struck by caught in betweens and electrocutions. So what fatal four category do you think is the most common in crane incidents? It's struck by. The most common cause of fatalities is workers or bystanders who are struck by an object that falls from the crane. Some of the other causes by death are being run over, falling from a crane and electrocution. So what are cranes mainly used for on job sites? Cranes are mostly used to lift and lower, as well as move heavy materials and equipment. They can also be used to transport materials or equipment around the job site and set materials into place for the project. Crane safety is extremely important on construction sites because of the tasks that the cranes complete, the significant size of them, as well as the materials they handle and the large suspended loads they carry. Now, who are the main personnel involved in the use of cranes on a job site? There are four main parties involved the crane owner, the crane user, the site supervisor, and the lift director. The crane owner is the party that owns and provides the crane that is being operated. They also provide all the necessary operational and maintenance information that is required to operate the crane safely. The crane user is the person who, or people that is in charge of arranging the use of the crane on the site and also controls and operates the machine. The crane user is responsible for ensuring that all members of the lift team know their roles and responsibilities when lift is being performed. The site supervisor is the person that exercises supervisory control on the work site and the work being performed. In some cases, the site supervisor and the lift director are the same person. The lift director is the party that actually directly oversees the work that is being done. They are in charge of all the lifts and riggings and must be present on the site for all lifts and rigging operations. Of course, there are many more members involved in crane operations like other crew members, but these are the four main people that are needed to perform any lift. So there are many things not to do when working around cranes. Any job site where a crane is being used, workers must take extra precaution when working around the crane or when the crane is in use to avoid any accidents. Like any equipment on job sites, do not use it if it is damaged. If the rigging or hoist of the crane is damaged, do not use it and do not attempt to fix it on site. Do not lengthen the wire rope or the rigging. Instead, just change out the rope to or rigging to one that fits the needs for the rig. Only a qualified or authorized person can adjust the load or hoist of the crane. For any person on the job site, do not stand under the crane's load, whether it's stationary or moving. If the rigging were to fail, you would be in great danger of the load falling on you. So stay clear of the load being lifted by the crane. And lastly, do not exceed the weight and size limits of the crane's rigging system. If the limits are exceeded, this can present many risks from even the crane tipping over and to the rigging failing. So how can we improve crane safety? Here are some things that workers should do when working with and around cranes. You should always make sure that all crew members know how to secure loads. Ensure that only appropriate qualified personnel are assigned to the lifts. Ensure all items that are being lifted are properly secured. Ensure that you have proper area for the crane to operate. Ensure that you have allotted enough time for each lift to avoid rushing the procedure. Make sure all ground workers maintain a safe distance from the load. Make sure team members understand hand signals. Make sure you inspect the equipment before using it. And finally, make sure operators and signal signalers are in direct contact with each other. So a crane worker must be a qualified person. So what do you think a qualified person is defined as? So OSHA defines a qualified person as one who, by possession of a recognition degree, certificate, or professional standing, or who, by extensive knowledge, training, and experience, successfully demonstrates the ability to solve or resolve problems relating to the subject matter or the project. Crane safety is extremely important in construction. Cranes are used a lot on the job site to lift, lower, and move heavy loads around. Crane accidents can be extremely severe and sometimes fatal to not only the operator who's operating the crane, but the workers on the job site that are around the crane. It's super important to establish safety plans and understand safety when working around cranes to prevent these incidents and fatalities.